From Nutrient Ag Solutions, this is Senior Meteorologist Andrew Pritchard with your Canadian Prairie Weather Story for Monday, June 28th, 2021. We've got a lot of heat to talk about. we got heat warnings in effect from British Columbia across all of Alberta and then a big chunk of Saskatchewan as well as this heat continues to spread from west to east through the week. It will eventually make its way over to Manitoba in a little bit of a more muted form late this week into the weekend. If we take a look at the satellite picture here, you watch the sun come up across North America, the big ridge of high pressure right here, uh, so cloud-free as we make our way up across the west coast into much of uh, western Canada, again, because of that ridge of high pressure flow with the jet stream coming up and over the top of that. We'll take a look at the radar. Obviously, no clouds, no precipitation to talk about, and that is going to be the theme here for the next three days with some very isolated chances for rain showers here as we get into the end of the week and the weekend. Looking at the high-resolution NAM model, we'll take this through the next 72 to 84 hours here. I'll go ahead and step through time. It's going to be dry across Alberta and Saskatchewan. A little chance here for maybe some pop-up showers, maybe a rumble of thunder across Manitoba uh, as we go through uh, maybe Tuesday into Wednesday, but precipitation going to be extremely light, extremely hit or miss. This is the total precipitation uh, forecast here from the NAM model. Again, dry across uh, British Columbia, or I'm sorry, dry across Alberta into uh, Saskatchewan. Some of those ridge riding showers and maybe a thunderstorm possible across Manitoba. Again, as we go through maybe Tuesday and Wednesday, very hit or miss. Most folks going to be on the dry side here. Side by side, NAM on the left, European model on the right. The European doesn't do quite as well with thunderstorm activity, so you still see the same theme. Again, the ridge of high pressure kind of parked over Alberta and Saskatchewan with some ridge riding showers and storms coming over the, the top of that. Not a recipe uh, for substantial moisture in Manitoba, just maybe those isolated pop-up showers and storms. We look over the next seven days. This is total precipitation from the European model through Sunday evening, July 4th. Again, a big hole across much of Alberta and Saskatchewan where we are looking dry. It's as the ridge slowly starts to flatten out and then shift off to the south and to the east. We'll start to work some precipitation into the Peace River region into northern Alberta over the weekend. And then additionally, uh, additionally some of those uh, very light showers and storms uh, across eastern portions of the, the Canadian prairie here across Manitoba. But much of the prairie going to be on the drier side over the next seven days with minimal precipitation. And that holds true as you cross the border into Montana and the Dakotas. Looking at the next 10 days broken in half, first five days on top, uh, days five to 10 on the bottom there. And you can kind of see the evolution. The ridge really peaking here as we head through uh, the next five days, hot and dry for many of us across the prairie. It's as we start to flatten that ridge out, we'll maybe reintroduce the chance for at least occasional chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms across the region. The, uh, the temperature anomaly forecast here over the next five days, heat really peaks across the region. Strongest uh, as you make your way off to the west, a little bit more muted as you make your way off to the east. That ridge begins to flatten out and spread off to the east as we head into days five through ten. Here's the evolution of everything. This is the 500 millibar height pattern. This is the extremely anomalous ridge of high pressure that is delivering the heat to the region. And of course, uh, with the stronger jet stream winds, which go over the top of that ridge, goes the precipitation chances. So that's why precipitation off to the north and off to the east as we go through the next five days. Let's look at the evolution. I'll hit play on this and show you the next 10 days as we go day by day here. And you see the ridge start to flatten out and move off to the east. We even start to bring in some troughing. That's what we need to do if we're going to reintroduce a big pattern change. It's something like what you see here at the end of this loop as we get all the way out to day 10. So that's a long ways away, and we have a lot of uh, watching this evolve to do before we actually get to this point. But let's step through time after letting it play through a couple times here. This is initially getting through Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of this week. The ridge is peaking across the region. It is still here as we get into Thursday and Friday. It's going to be a hot and dry week across the Canadian prairie. Now, look at the little uh, perturbation here, this little wave. Let me change colors, we'll draw this in black. You see the little trough that makes its way through Friday and Saturday. That's gonna bring that chance for some precipitation, generally to Peace River into Northern Alberta. We'll see if maybe we can work some of those moisture chances a little bit further south and to the east, but that's the first signal of a little bit of a change. We flatten the ridge out just a bit, and then it's uh, not until we get to the end of the day 10 uh, D7 to 10 forecast that we start to see this trough making its way across Alaska through the Gulf of Alaska and then potentially, sorry, I jumped too far ahead there, uh, potentially getting into portions of Western Canada as we get into, again, July 7th and 8th, way out there before we're talking about any kind of big pattern change. 
The precipitation forecast, let me just hit play on this. You'll see the theme. Go ahead and focus in on the prairie provinces there. That ridge of high pressure spinning over the area, keeping things on the dry side over the next five to seven days. Scattered chances for precipitation as we get a little bit deeper into the forecast, uh, into the deeper, into the, uh, the five to 10 day uh, forecast time frame. And that ridge continues to build off to the east. You see the heat spreading as we head deeper into the week, starting to become a little bit more muted potentially as we get into the weekend and the week two time frame. So not much to talk about as far as precipitation goes, certainly not before the weekend and early next week. Here are your high and low temperatures across the prairie here. Heat peaks in Alberta uh, here today through Thursday. We've got highs in the mid to upper 30s through Thursday, July 1st. Edmonton, very similar look here. Saskatoon, the heat lingers a little bit longer into late week. Still looking at highs in the upper 30s as we get into Thursday and Friday in Saskatchewan, Saskatoon there. This is Regina, highs in the low to mid 30s through the end of the week. And then Winnipeg, again, a little bit delayed here as the ridge shifts off to the east. Uh, heat peaks in the, uh, the Winnipeg area, much of Manitoba as we get into Friday and Saturday. So unfortunately, the heat is here for a bit, at least as we talk about the next five to seven days. And unfortunately, not much to uh, get excited about as far as organized precipitation goes. Those light showers, maybe a stray thunderstorm over the next 48 hours in Manitoba. And then we're talking about Friday and Saturday in Peace River and Northern Alberta. As far as the bulk of the prairie goes, kind of along and south of Highway 16, I don't know what to tell you. We're looking at next weekend, perhaps into early next week. Stay cool out there. Be sure to uh, limit strenuous activity to the morning and maybe the late evening if you can, and uh, be sure to drink plenty of water and keep things dialed back during midday if we can. We'll talk to you again a week from today.